Oh, this is this is interesting. I, I didn't just I didn't just choose my loadout or anything, and I, I'm not spawned in. Uh, it's a seven v five. That's why. <laughs> What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Akula Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Today we're giving them a live com, uh, another go, another whirl, another ring around the rosy, another stroll through the park. And we're going to be talking about something that I thought was absolutely super, super cool. I want you to flash back though, firstly, to 2015. But flash back to 2015 and we ended up getting uh, back then a little bit of a report that Activision wanted to dabble in the idea of a Call of Duty movie. Now back then there wasn't anything that was really like solid it was just basically like hey let's give this a try we think it might be cool now as for that movie though it's something that we didn't get anything really at the time that said too much about the project and really what would be a, the idea for call of duty movie uh but as of recently we actually got a, a decent amount and it's pretty cool to think about if i'm honest why am i sniping on this map again i i've said that i might be able to get some cool snipes off but i, I haven't been able to so Okay, you know what? Maybe maybe we're getting some decent some decent shots. Ah, teammates calling on the airstrike. Oh my gosh. How about that? That was a nice little escape move there, nah? All right, I'm just feeding now. Let's go. That would have been a naughty final kill cam. Yesterday, a report came out in which there was some more information on this idea because it laid dormant since 2015. And, well, we're now slightly into 2017. So there's a decent amount of time, a little bit of a year and a half uh, gap there between it. But I'll leave the uh, link down there in the description below to the original article for those of you guys that want to read along because I'm probably going to get sidetracked, probably going to totally miss some things. And uh, you guys roasted me for it last time, which wasn't, wasn't too nice. But no, I'm... All seriousness, I, I appreciate you guys being like, if this is a shit video, you tell me. It keeps me in line, it keeps me working hard for it. it makes me uh, push out the content that we're all proud of and all wanna watch. But the cool thing is that along with this whole uh, COD movie that they wanna build, oh, I missed that shot, that was stupid, I shouldn't have. Along with that COD movie that they wanna, wanna build, they wanna build an entire cinematic universe for their movies. So if you're thinking like the Marvel universe, then bingo. You got it right on the, you hit the nail on the head with that one. That's exactly what they're going for. And it's the same universe that as of May 2015, grossed almost $8 billion across their movies. But $8 billion across the Marvel universe in from just up until 2015. Granted, that's probably still probably, I don't know, off the top of my head, half a decade, eight years maybe of, of Marvel movies that's been in the works, but still, that is a ton of money. And plus, the past two years have been fantastic for the Marvel Universe, and they've had some super heavy hitters, so I can't even imagine what it's like now. And man, I, I just can't get over how awesome those movies are. Like, I I truly love all of the Marvel movies. Like, I, I don't think that there's one that I didn't like. I think I'm only waiting to see, I didn't see Guardians of the Galaxy, so that's, that's my, my fault there. I hate this map, just throwing that out there as well. But how does this then tie into how can Call of Duty do a, a Marvel Cinematic Universe type thing where there's there's interconnections in between everybody? But how does this work on an Activision level? How does this work on something for Call of Duty? Well, that is where we enter co-presidents of Activision Blizzard Studio. Least favorite map in Call of Duty probably ever. It's the same map, same lobby. But yeah, on the Activision side, enter Activision Blizzard Studio, enter uh, Stacy Scher and Nick Van Dyke, and you have the key components in this whole entire idea of a Call of Duty movie and universe, cinematic universe, where it's not just gonna be one standalone, it's gonna be multiple across TV, film, you name it. Like, it's gonna be sick if they pull this off. It is gonna be Marvel 2.0 if they can do it, which hopefully they can, that'd be, I mean, it'd be really sweet to see. But what they wanna do and what their vision is, is to set up movies and universes around Black Ops, Modern Warfare, and sometimes crossover stuff, which would be really interesting to see how that would work out. But when you first hear that, I immediately thought like, yo, please give me like a Woods standalone film, a backstory of like Ghost, Soap, Price, all the Modern Warfare dudes before we got to know and love them. Give me all that and I would be 100% happy. Like I would, I would pay tons of money for that because like just via campaign, which is only a couple of hours long, each game, you just got so connected with each of those characters, and it's, oh, 
It's so good. But can you imagine though, like ending up getting all that A-list talent, like say Kevin Spacey off the top of my mind, there's a ton of people that have done work for, for Call of Duty in some shape or form that are really good, well-known actors actually. Kevin Spacey is the first one that comes to my mind. Imagine getting him back together, the rest of the band back together, and maybe like if they ever got up to Black Ops 3 or something like that. I honestly think that I've thought this from a long time ago, that get like Scarlett Johansson to be Battery from the Black Ops 3 specialist, like A-list talent would definitely sign on to this, I think. It'd be super cool. But sadly, the thing that kind of stinks about it is the fact that I don't think that's the direction they want to go with it. I don't think that's the direction they're hoping to take it. I think they're more so going to try and take it the direction of themes for their, their movies. So like Black Ops 3's themed would be like, but like the Black Ops 3 would be something where, say, it's more of a stealthy, like, stuff you never see, the nitty gritty like that. And then the Modern Warfare series themed, like the Modern Warfare branded movies, would probably be something where it's, it's a little bit more of the modern war over in, say, the Middle East or something like that. Like, it's their modern day military shooter movie where it's like, it follows the struggles of maybe like a group of people, but it's, it's more so just like something you've already kind of seen. Like, I'm not saying it's not gonna be fantastic or anything, but like, it wouldn't be something following the storyline of Soap, Price, all those guys that we've, we've known and loved forever. Man, something about this map today, we're just shredding. But I guess we can't say for sure, and I can't. We, I don't think we can rule out specifically like, oh, the the characters of Modern Warfare will never have their own movie or anything like that. I, I think that it's it's still all conceptual, and they definitely try and gauge the feedback of the community. I think it's something that, if the interest was there, and there were definitely gonna be ticket sales for it, why wouldn't you do it? You know what I mean? Like if if the demand is there, like granted, Activision's kind of gotten the the bad rap recently recently that they haven't really listened to the community. But in all honesty they would totally do this. Like this would be an easy way to just increase every, every aspect of revenue. Like, I don't think there's anything that would fail with that. Give me the double heli. Let's get the double heli today, boys. There it is, going off in this game. Is this game even fair? Like I'm, I'm literally my team right now. I think I'm doing all right, guys. Oh my god, we're actually gonna get the triple. Like, that's, that's not anything that, like, we should be super proud of, but, like, it's... There's one. Alright, we just need one more. And we're good. <laughs> the triple helicopter. <laughs> but the coolest part, I think, out of this entire thought process of a Call of Duty cinematic universe is, is something that we don't really have to wait all that long for it. Like, they, they've said they've already... They said they already have a couple of scripts already in the works and some of them already like solidified and finalized. So like, can you imagine? This is like a Call of Duty movie drops next year or the year after and bada bing, bada boom. We got the start of a universe, man. Not a half bad game if you ask me. I get props to that guy that stayed Plastic Pulse 8 and 26. I'd be out of there so fast. But the next big question is how does it come down to not flopping at this point? Because I mean, when you take a look at video games, most recently uh, Assassin's Creed, I can't remember I know it didn't flop as hard as everybody thought. At least that's what it seemed like to me. I didn't hear anything. So yeah, I, I couldn't tell you how Assassin's Creed did in the grand scheme of things, but I, I could tell you that video game movies are known to flop and flop hard. So like when you when you think about Call of Duty and being a, a cinematic universe, that's you need to have a lot of success to set that up in the first place, let alone keep it profitable, keep the f But how does it not flop? Well, that's actually the nice part about all of this. What? Stacey Schur uh, has some really big budget uh, projects under her belt. So it might possibly work. She hit, she worked on things like Django Unchained. She worked on, uh, what is my aim? She worked on things like The Hateful Eight. So like she's got big budget productions under her belt. Like it's not something that she's brand new. She ain't no rookie. And then you got Nick Van Dyke, who, who is honestly a huge piece to how this will work. If you take a look at his credentials, he was a high ranking executive at Disney and he was an integral part in bringing Disney uh, the acquisitions of Marvel as well as Star Wars and he was an integral part in setting up the Marvel Cinematic Universe as well so like these dudes know what they're doing so when you take some of the talent that has like the production skills as as them the business and acquisition minds that they do as well for setting up a project like such honestly I don't I think that this 
could be that video game movie that doesn't flop. Oh no. What? What is with everybody using Mortar Dom? What? Yeah, you take those credentials, add them in together, and honestly, I think you have a recipe for something that actually doesn't flop, something that could genuinely do well. I think just another thing that really adds to the, the possibilities of it being something that is successful is just take a look, take a look at the, the storytelling caliber of Call of Duty. For campaigns that are, are as short as they are, they're absolutely ridiculously good. Like, to tell such a compelling story in a six hour time frame that it usually takes for, for campaigns, like that, that's just ridiculous. Like all around, just every campaign seems to just one up itself, I think. And that's that's something that I think would then bring an absolute fantastic vibe to the franchise and be something that is incredibly unique. Woo! So all in all, I think that this is just something that we should definitely be excited for. I think that is gonna be something that is absolutely fantastic if it ends up being pulled off. Right now, it's still conceptual. It's still something that doesn't really have the green lights and one thing that I want to mention is, is before we get the comments of, well, they should focus on making a good game first. They're two totally different things. Activision Blizzard handles the games, but Activision Blizzard Studios is something that is an entirely different entity. So they have no hand in making Call of Duty. But all in all, I think it's just something that is super cool to be excited for, super hype. And honestly, I'm excited to see where they take it. If they do decide to do it, I think that it has the possibility to be something that doesn't flop. It has something, the possibility to be a cool TV series, a movie series, something that we all genuinely enjoy as Call of Duty fans. And then other than that, I think it's just, I'm just excited. I don't know. I'm, I'm stoked to see what it can bring, but that's going to wrap it up. I want to see uh, what you guys have to think on it. So drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything. Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare Mastered, Infinite Warfare, COD 2017, and Call of Duty movie wise. Man, maybe that maybe one day I'll be able to actually bring in my love for movies and Call of Duty and YouTube and video games all into one. Maybe it's like meant to be, dude. Maybe it's meant to be. But all in all, I'll see you guys later. Thank you dude so much for watching. You take care. I'll see you guys later. Peace.